My daughter put her babies to bed in her, their clementine bed, but I thought they don't really look asleep. Unlike this bitty baby whose eyes open when she's awake and close when she's asleep, these dolls have eyes that don't move. So I thought, well, in order for them to go to sleep, they need an eye mask. There, now she's asleep. This easy eye mask only needs a few things to put together, and I'm going to show you how to do that. First, take some bottle caps. This one's too small. This one is just right. You want the bottle cap to be able to cover the whole eye comfortably. Now that you've chosen your bottle cap, you're going to trace it onto a piece of scrap paper. Next, measure the bridge of your doll's nose. This is about one and a half centimeters. You're going to line that up with the circle you've already drawn, make a mark, and now you're going to use this mark to make a line. This way, when you line up your caps, they are even. Center your bottle cap again and trace. I'm going to outline my circles so that you can see them better. There you go. And now I'm going to use my cap once again to make a curve for the bridge of the nose. Using the ruler, I'm just going to make a straight line across so that my eye mask will be even. And then I'm going to make a little U curve on the side. This is where you're going to attach the elastic later. When you cut it out, just cut out one side, fold it in half, and now you're going to trace the curve on the other side. Cut that out, and let's try it on our doll and see how it fits. Perfect, now we have a template for our eye mask. First, I'm going to trace it onto the felt. I'm using a dark pen, but if you want to use a lighter pen, go ahead. I just want you to be able to see it on camera. I went ahead and made a second one in a different color, and now I'm going to glue them together. My suggestion is go light with the glue. It will bleed through the felt, so just a little bit here and there, and then put your two pieces together. While that's drying, you can snip off any little pieces that are sticking out or if you want to remove any of the marker that is showing. Now that it's dry, we can attach our elastic. I'm going to use this threader to put the elastic on this yarn needle. Um, even though it is a bigger needle, it is still pointy and I later did stab myself, so please be careful. You may need a sharper needle to make a pilot hole, but you're just going to take your needle and poke it through the tab that you've already made and twist it a little bit to get it through because it's a little tight. Once it's through, make a double knot. To get the proper fit, wrap it around your doll's head and pull the elastic tight. This is where you're going to knot it and cut it off. For Bailey, it's about 8 inches because we have to tie knots. For this side, I'm going to use a loose knot in case I made a mistake. I'm going to try it on my doll. And if it fits well, then I can make the second knot and trim off the excess. Perfect! While the glue was drying, I made this little nightgown out of an old dress that belonged to my daughter. Now Bailey is ready to take her nap. Sweet dreams, sweetie. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.